There are on average between 800 billion to 3.2 trillion planets in our own galaxy. Based on the findings of the Kepler team, there are at least 500 million planets in the habitable zone. In this video, we dive deep into a planet called Proxima Centauri b and learn more about it, so keep watching till the end. Proxima Centauri b, also known as Proxima b, is the nearest exoplanet to our solar system, and it's even more Earth-like than scientists initially believed. This alien world orbits a red dwarf star called Proxima Centauri, and is part of the larger triple star system known as Alpha Centauri. Proxima b is estimated to be approximately 4.2 light-years away from Earth, located in the constellation Centaurus. Alongside the currently disputed Proxima c and Proxima d, it is one of the closest known exoplanets to our solar system. Proxima b has a mass equivalent to 1.17 times that of Earth. It completes an orbit around its star in just 11.2 days, in contrast to Earth's year-long orbit around the Sun. This means that Proxima b is much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. However, because Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, which is significantly smaller and cooler than our Sun, Proxima b orbits within its star's habitable zone. Interestingly, Proxima b receives a similar amount of solar energy from its star as Earth receives from the Sun. While Proxima b orbits within the habitable zone, it's uncertain whether it possesses an atmosphere. Proxima Centauri is a flare star, emitting intense electromagnetic radiation that could potentially strip away an atmosphere from the planet. The proximity of Proxima b to Earth presents an opportunity for robotic space exploration, such as the Breakthrough Starshot project. Proxima Centauri b was officially announced on August 24, 2016, by the European Southern Observatory, ESO. Its existence was confirmed after several years of studying the radial velocity of its parent star. This discovery marked a significant milestone in the field of planetology and sparked increased interest in the Alpha Centauri star system, of which Proxima is a member. This peculiar alien planet orbits Proxima Centauri, our sun's closest neighbor. Its location within the habitable zone suggests the possibility of liquid water and perhaps even the existence of life. Due to its Earth-like mass, scientists believe that Proxima b could be a rocky terrestrial planet similar to Earth. However, Proxima b orbits a star that is much dimmer and less massive than our Sun. Researchers suspect that the planet is tidally locked, meaning one side constantly faces the star while the other remains in perpetual darkness. This creates a light side and a dark side. Furthermore, it's unclear whether Proxima b has retained its atmosphere. The planet's close proximity to its star, with an orbit taking only 11 Earth days, raises concerns that radiation from Proxima Centauri may have stripped away its atmosphere, making it difficult for the surface to maintain liquid water. As scientists continue to investigate this system with improved technology, we hope to gain a better understanding of Proxima b's true characteristics. Now that you're familiar with Proxima b, let's delve into the details of other planets in the Proxima Centauri system, Proxima c. Proxima Centauri c is a potential super-Earth or gas dwarf candidate, boasting a mass roughly seven times that of Earth. It resides at a considerable distance from its host star, Proxima Centauri, orbiting at around 1.5 astronomical units, approximately 220 million kilometers. Its orbital period is quite lengthy, taking approximately 1,900 days, which is equivalent to about 5.2 Earth years. Due to this distant positioning from Proxima Centauri, the planet presents an extremely inhospitable environment, with an equilibrium temperature plummeting to a mere 39 Kelvin. Italian astrophysicist Mario Damaso and his research team initially reported the existence of Proxima Centauri c in April 2019. They discerned subtle fluctuations in the radial velocity data of Proxima Centauri, obtained through the ESO's HARPS instrument, suggesting the presence of an additional planet in orbit. In 2020, this planet's existence received confirmation through astrometry data from the Hubble Space Telescope, dating back to approximately 1995. Additionally, there was a potential indirect detection through infrared observations using the SPHERE instrument. However, this detection lacked absolute certainty, and it was proposed that Proxima Centauri c might possess a ring system with a radius approximately five times that of Jupiter, which could account for its observed brightness. In 2022, a study was published that challenged the confirmation of the planet's existence, raising doubts about its actual presence. Proxima d. In 2019, a team of astronomers revisited the Espresso data concerning Proxima Centauri b to refine its estimated mass. During this process, the team uncovered another radial velocity signal with a periodicity of 5.15 days. They estimated that if this signal corresponded to a planetary companion, it would possess a mass no less than 0.29 times that of Earth. Further analysis verified the signal's existence, leading to its official announcement in February 2022. 
These discoveries offer intriguing insights into the Proxima Centauri system and continue to expand our understanding of exoplanets in this neighboring star system. Proxima Centauri B is an intriguing focus in our quest to find habitable exoplanets, primarily because it resides within the habitable zone of our closest neighboring star. Nevertheless, its closeness to a red dwarf star presents distinct obstacles, such as tidal locking and the risk of losing its atmosphere due to solar flares. Despite these challenges, the pursuit of understanding Proxima's potential for habitability persists. Upcoming missions and observations hold the promise of bringing us closer to addressing the age-old question, are we the sole inhabitants of the universe? Proxima B serves as a reminder that the exploration of extraterrestrial life is an ongoing and exhilarating voyage of discovery. A red dwarf star like Proxima Centauri remains in the main sequence phase for approximately 4 trillion years. During this time, as it undergoes hydrogen fusion, it gradually shrinks in size and becomes hotter, eventually transforming into a blue dwarf. In this phase, it becomes significantly more luminous, emitting about 2.5% of the sun's luminosity, which can warm nearby planets for several billion years. Once it exhausts its hydrogen fuel, Proxima Centauri evolves into a helium-white dwarf, bypassing the red giant phase and slowly loses any remaining heat energy. The formation of the Alpha Centauri system likely occurred naturally when a low-mass star was dynamically captured by a more massive binary star, with 1.52 m, within their embedded star cluster before the cluster dispersed. However, confirming this theory requires more precise measurements of radial velocity. If Proxima Centauri was indeed bound to the Alpha Centauri system during its formation, it's probable that these stars share a similar elemental composition. Proxima's gravitational influence may have disrupted the protoplanetary disks of Alpha Centauri, potentially enhancing the transport of volatile materials like water to the inner regions. This process could have enriched any terrestrial planets in the system with these essential substances. Proxima Centauri's proximity to Earth has made it a potential destination for interstellar travel. However, using conventional non-nuclear propulsion methods, a spacecraft journey to Proxima Centauri and its planets could span thousands of years. Nuclear pulse propulsion presents the potential to significantly reduce interstellar travel times to a mere century. This concept has been explored in various projects like Project Orion, Project Daedalus, and Project Longshot. In contrast, Project Breakthrough Starshot has ambitious plans to reach the Alpha Centauri system within the first half of the 21st century. This initiative intends to employ microprobes traveling at 20% of the speed of light driven by powerful Earth-based lasers generating around 100 gigawatts of energy. These probes would conduct a flyby of Proxima Centauri, collecting photographs and data on the atmospheric compositions of its planets. The gathered information would then be transmitted back to Earth, a process that would take approximately 4.25 years.